<laughs> Welcome guys to a grid 2019 This video is a bit of a random one and it's been a while since I've done any kind of commentary So I may stutter or mumble like I always do uh, In the background you can see here is I'm just showing how I'm running the game It is completely maxed out, but it is at 2560 by 1440 res uh, a lot of the hardcore games out there, I gotta say, it should be 4K. Um, personally, my own choice, I don't see the difference between the two. Um, especially my monitors are 4K, yes, but they are 60 hertz. I run all the games at 60 frames with V-Sync. Um, I just don't see the need to go 4K. Personally, myself, I enjoy 1440. It looks amazing. You're gonna see it in a minute. Um, this video is. Primarily the first half is going to be me talking to you, the second half is going to be a full race I recorded it earlier, looks amazing, night time, it's just so, so, so good. So what I want to talk to you about is firstly, the RTX 3070, yes, there's a lot of people that are out there are going to say, oh, well, we can't get one, so why are you bothering to talk about it, blah, blah, blah. Primarily want to talk to you about it is because so many other bit reviewers and people out there are saying that the 3070 or the 3060 is crud, you shouldn't do it, you should go 3080. 3070 actually has blown me away. I got it on a budget whim, nothing else out there available, so I'll get it for now. And it's actually pretty damn epic. And in the UK, for £586, compared to the eight to 900 that you're going to pay up for a 3080, it is really good, and I think it's really underrated. Yeah, this is maxed out uh, as far as, like, you can't push the game any further other than maybe turning up, like, AA or something. Um, and it's just absolutely beautiful, and it's running perfect 60 frames. Might drop a frame here and there, but that's purely because I think I'm running it on a hard drive, not an SSD. Um, and it's, as it's 1440, it's, it's just, yeah, I, I, I'm speechless when I saw it and I'm speechless every time I watch it back and, and play, it just looks so crisp. And this is the thing about Grid as well, that a lot of people will go and contest compared to like Forza or what have you. That Grid just isn't a game worth playing, um, it's not a sim. Well, yeah, I agree, it's, it's not a sim, it's an arcade sim. Um, you know, if I want to simulate racing then I'll go to iRacing or I'll go to like Forza Motorsport or something like that where it's, it's meant to be sim. I've never seen Grid as being a strictly sim game. Yes, you can play it stream sim, you can set it up as sim, but it's always felt and played like an arcade sim. And fundamentally, it just looks good. It's a nice looking game, it plays well when you can get it set up. You know, I've, I've got quite a history of having to modify Grid um, configure docs and what have you to get them to run in the first place because they've been a nightmare in the past. And compared to the original grid, the first grid, I would say this is nearly as good. Um, the actual core races itself and the AI of the computer, because I don't play the online side of it, it's crud, you get constantly smashed into on purpose. Um, but the actual core structure of the game is, is, I would say, as good or better than the original grid. But what lets it down is the is the menu system and the time between the menu and the pauses and it's just and it's so boring <laughs> it's just that's the problem and i think there's a lot of people that will agree with me that when when you're going through the game and you're playing the career it's so bland and boring and like 2d flat it's horrible whereas the original grid there was actually like a the menu structure was more inviting and there was more interesting stuff to do there was things happening in the background and just yeah so i'm not going to get into that because that's just a a dark rabbit hole of a tunnel. But primarily, this game on a 3070 is absolutely stunning. And it's not just this game, 3070 is actually really powerful. I've done another video, which I don't know if will be out before this or after this, or Far Cry 5, and I'll tell you now, that looks amazing with a 3070. And the 3070, just like how Grid is playing, doesn't even break a sweat. Right now, playing uh, this Grid, maxed out, 1440, I'm not even, like on EVGA, which I can't bring up on the screen, unfortunately, because their on-screen system is a bit temperamental. Um, I'm not even hitting 52C, uh, and I'm barely 65% power consumption, um, and I'm hitting like kind of the base happy clocks of the card. I'm, I'm running an EVGA, which has got three fans. They're all running about 33%. I'm sitting at 52 degrees. Um, 
Memory clock is well over uh, 6,800. And the clock is quite happily sitting over 2,000 uh, megahertz. So like, and I've, I've down clocked my card as well. I, I dropped uh, power consumption down to uh, 90 instead of the 100 that it was it shipped at um, because of the way I'm running the card in my system and stuff. And I'm happy for it to do that. And I'm, it's barely being pushed anyway. I probably could put it at 100 and it'd be pointless because the card's not even like 60, 70% breaking a sweat right now and I'm playing this game maxed out at 40 and 40. Just absolutely crazy. So anyone out there fundamentally looking to get a uh, new graphics card, I would say save your money for the time being and look at the 3070 um, and then obviously that will get you through be it the rest of the year or two years until like the TIs or Ultras or whatever the go call them comes out and then you can look at upgrading to like a, a 3880 Ti or Ultra or whatever they call it. And one of the other things I want to talk to you about is EA buying Codemasters really concerns me. I've been a Codemasters fan for a long time. Other than the direction some of their games are going in, like their latest dirt. But that said, EA buying into Codemasters is a real concern because of EA's background. Everyone knows what EA is like. They pump microtransactions into games. Uh, they will churn out a game and if it doesn't do well they'll, they'll sack off or like destroy whole development teams of games like studios and stuff so it's a real concern with EA buying into Codemasters it'd be interesting to see what happens I would love I've always said this I would personally love to do work with Codemasters even just giving them like ideas or script ideas or like stories if they're going to single player and stuff it's just but it's never going to happen but yeah, the fundamentals of the video is to show that the 3070 is an amazingly strong card. This game looks absolutely glorious on one of those cards and still does to date. Praise and congratulate the people that made this game and hope that they can steer back to this kind of world or be it the next, uh, I think it's like Project Cars 3 or something is what they're working on. It'll be really interesting to see what they're going to do with that. But besides that, I'm going to round my little speech off here. Thank you for watching this far if you have. Um, always give a, a sub and a like if you do, or a dislike if you completely disagree with what I've said or think I'm an absolute raven lunatic. And uh, enjoy the rest of this video. It's pretty epic. I'm going to shut up, raise the volume, and let you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Break up.